There are also a few different tools at your disposal. So right now I'm on the selection tool. That's what's highlighted at the top there. And so when I click and drag, I can select areas of the audio track. If I double click, I can select the entire track. When I select anything and I hit the delete key, it just automatically deletes that. If I hit control Z, it'll undo that. So I just delete and then control Z. Another useful tool uh, for controlling the volume really precisely is the envelope tool. And so here I'm going to click a couple dots and those are just points where I'm going to change the levels. And so here you can see I have <clears throat> two different points. So at the beginning it starts out full volume and then it tapers down to be a little bit quieter. And I can just control that by clicking and dragging the mouse. And so this is this will be nice. The music will start in loud in the podcast and then as the person starts talking uh, it'll get a little bit quieter. And so I can kind of shift uh, this placement of where the person starts talking to match up with this fade out or fade down rather The next tool we're going to look at is the time shift tool this little double arrow here And so this will allow us to place the speaker uh, so that Right when they start talking right at the point where the volume of the music starts going down And so here we can just visually line those up and then listen Hello everyone and welcome to my podcast. Today I have a really exciting interview with one of my close friends. And really this is a process of listening and kind of just being able to tell by ear whether or not the levels are going to be sufficient. So is the music quiet enough so that I can hear the speaker? Do I want to tweak it a little bit? And in this case I do. I want it, I want it a little bit quieter. And depending upon your setup and your track, uh, sometimes getting it down to get really low can be tricky. And so you're going to want to change the uh, size of how the tracks are displayed. So you can just drag the bottom part of the track itself and then it gives you a little more granular precision on a really exciting interview with one of my close friends. You know, last And then it's really just a matter of making little micro adjustments. Really exciting interview with one of my close friends. To try to see what you do or don't like, you know, what is acceptable? Is this loud enough? Is it too loud? Uh, can I hear the music at all anymore? You don't want the music so quiet that it's inaudible or that it's distracting because people are trying to figure out what's going on, uh, but you don't want it to be drowning out the narration. So now we're just going to listen to the entire beginning sequence. Hello everyone and welcome to my pod. And I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now I have my levels pretty much how I want them. I, I still have this kind of annoying clap in the very beginning, which we're gonna we're still gonna use to sync up later. So I'm not gonna get rid of that yet. But but something to keep in mind is um, just kind of making sure that you tweak everything so that it's set up to start playing exactly when you want it to. And speaking of that, I have this track of somebody hiking. It's just ambient noise of them hiking. And in the introduction, the interviewer talks about hiking. So I want to line those up so they happen at the same time. You know. Last week I was out on a hike walking And so I'm going to play it back until I hear that point where it says hiking. Walking through the forest. Enjoy. I'm going to make a note of where that happens on the timeline, right? So I want to, you know, shift, I want to use the time shift tool to move that hiking sound right at that same point, about 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch from the envelope tool to the time shift tool. And you can see I have this little no icon, so the mouse cursor is a little no symbol. Um, that means that I can't use it on any of these. Um, that's because I didn't have my track stopped. I had it paused instead of stopped. Um, once it's stopped, then I can shift this to where I want it to be. And since I have track one way up high and track three pretty far down, one thing I can do is just make track two a little bit more narrow, or I can move track three all the way up, which is what I prefer to do. I like to just see them side by side. There's no real difference in whether in the order of the tracks they all will sound the same. Um, so it's really just whatever your workflow preference is. You know, last week I was out on a hike walking through the forest, enjoying the sun in the air. Just try to get that exactly where I want it to be so uh, it matches up with the narration. So it goes along with what the listener is going to be listening to.